I don't know who's better between Gluttony and Tweak. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Gluttony. Solo main? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Solo main. Without a doubt. Okay, winners finals. Best of five. Japan versus France in SoCal. Where's SoCal at, man? What happened? Yeah, I haven't seen this matchup uh, very much. Oh. All right. <laughs> no jump. <laughs> Gluttony showing his offstage prowess yet again versus characters with susceptible recoveries. Now, I don't know if this, uh, I've seen a lot of what we saw versus the Pokemon chain. Like, Gluttony is just not afraid to just get in this character's face. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lock with just fair? Oh, no, Yo. Gluttony is popping off right now. Oh, did he catch the jump again? Bye bye. <laughs> Gluttony is so good at Edge Guardian. It's insane. And he kind of forced that Kamehameha to play that type of recovery. Uh oh. Hold up. Oh, that's oh big. And Gluttony kind of took a page out of Kamehameha, but Kamehameha is still surviving. Oh. Damn, we might be seeing a three stock, and I don't see Kamehameha get three stocked Yo, pretty man. much ever. One does not simply three stock Kamehameha. Oh, oh, never mind. My man air dodged in. No three stocks here. Living on to his legacy of not getting three stocked. Okay, okay nice. I like it. Back oh, no. Not Later. <laughs> Kamehameha. Kamehameha, is he thinking about Wario right now? Is he thinking about character switch? That was pretty dominant. He, he probably thinks to himself, like, yo, man, I, w I just picked up that character a second ago. What do you mean I'm losing? <laughs> yeah, Gluttony's edge guards are insane. He's making it look like Mega Man can't do anything off stage. Well, when you got such a recovery that's pretty predictable horizontally, right? Like, you're able to just kind of predict the recovery and then punish it accordingly. All right, sticking with the Mega Man. He's going to give it at least one more game. I mean, you never know. Sometimes it could be the fact that Kamehameha may not be confident in the ditto. True. I mean, he uses a bunch of characters, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this counterpick goes. Yeah. We'll see how the counterpick goes, and, you know, if any other characters come in. Oh, my God. The Nair train across the stage. Oh. Whiffing one grab does so much punishment. Oh, there it is again. Nice. Sniping these jumps off stage. Free hit again. Oh, no, he missed it. Just barely. Yep. Yeah, Gluttony is so aggressive against Mega Man off stage. Like, it just can't be stated enough. Look, every time he's sniping out that jump with a forward air. Oh, man, he's so. Dang, that upbeat seeing him off stage is actually so good for him. Oh! Heavy boy Mega Man living a little. Never mind, he's yeah, out of here. I was going to say that. <laughs> I, I, well, that's kind of one of those things about Kalos, right? Like the edge guard, and you kind of yeah. expect your opponents to go for the platform and try to land and then come back on stage. Hmm. But Gluttony waits the call off. All right, Kamehameha not too far behind, though. Very close to getting this stock without taking too much percent. Oh, man. Even if that bike does actually uh, shorten the lap timer as well. So that's why you see Glenn Niga go for that so much. But Kamehameha is taking that stock. Ooh. Almost in a rough spot again. A nice middle blade set up here. Nice. Catching the jab block. Mm -hmm. That's big percent there. Solid tech chase. Okay. Kamehameha making a little bit of adjustments here. Definitely having a much easier time just keeping Glenny in a bad position. Not getting rushed down so hard. As it was before. Nice. Oh no, I'm ready for this Z drop. Yeah, <laughs> I'm ready for this Z drop up. So, oh nice, sniping him out of the bike. Only took 30% here for Mega Man. That's pretty good, especially since he's not getting killed by Wap uh, right now. Mega Man can live a really long time. Nice. nice. He's looking for cross ups too. Oh, oh my God! Never seen that before. I didn't even know you could combo that from bike. What the heck? Dude, Wario has like so many combos in that move. It's actually crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy. It's a great show for Lani to show like how, the, dif the differentiations between him and Kamehameha. Damn. 
He just brought it back so hard with that. Yeah, if I were Kamimi, man, I would take that bike setup and I would be looking to take notes from it. <laughs> this time I like how Kamimi just decided to stay on the ground and just wait for things to happen out. Good parry. Oh, oh no. I would have loved to have seen the backer because he was looking to try to cross up too. Nice. It's a fair shield. All right, looking for his opening here. Oh, nice trade for him. Yep. Pretty wow, I wonder if he saw that he was going to throw the bike and he immediately went for the punish for the forward smash. Yeah. That was good. Okay, Kamehameha actually came back pretty hard there. Game one looked really bad. I would love to see uh, this go to game five because the players are both so well respected, so high level. Some of the best representatives of the character. And like this is probably the highest level we'll see in this matchup, really, you know? Yeah. I agree. Two great plays and two great stature, honestly. Going at it one on one. We'll see how things can play out here. Both players are the point on the board. Game three. Pretty important game, right? Because it sets one player to be at match point. Mm. And the other player has two extra games to play through. Yeah, we saw how big the Kalos counter pick was for Kamehameha, so stage choice is going to matter quite a bit here. Up throw, nice, falling with the up air. Nice, Just keeping him exactly where he wants him at the edge of the stage. But he's got to watch it, he does not get put in another edge guard situation versus Gundy. Oh. Good oh, no. Good use of down there, too, knowing how our recovery works. I wonder if there's any strong Mega Man players in uh, Europe for Gluttony to like, get practice against. He just looks really uh, comfortable in this matchup overall. Oh. I mean, not that I, I don't know any of those any Mega Man players in Europe, honestly. And I apologize for those of you from Europe watching here. But sometimes players like Lenny Wright and all these top players, they do watch VODs and they like definitely analyze and study what to do against oh, him. And then that up tilt, rage up tilt is so strong. Yeah. I was see a really good punish for him. Oh my goodness, his E-drops. Yo, Kameme is starting to cook a little bit here. Nice, oh, nice. catch the air Reads dodge. the directional air dodge. Oh my goodness. Now this is the Kameme you like to see and so scary and neutral, just playing out every defensive option you have, and punishing accordingly. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's a pretty good trade for him, not getting punched too hard there. Mm -hmm. Oh, no back air, though. Man, that, that's uh, more range than I thought. I thought Gluttony, you know, was Oh, there more. it is oh. again, but not enough. A little bit too early percent for that to kill. But these Z-Drop Metal Blade setups are so dangerous right now. Oh, my oh, goodness. Reeks the high recovery there. Gluttony forced to choose the center stage. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, no. He air dodged off stage. Damn, he just wanted to avoid that F smash so bad that he cost him his life. All right, Kamehameha with the biggest lead he's had so far, and he's pushing it as hard as he can. Oh, one more time. Oh, my goodness. That was close. That was close. Oh, no way. What a reverse We're living, but yeah, he's in a basketball here. off stage. Nope. Now we'll get the back. Oh. Whoops. You hate, you hate to see it happen. Rudney, a little bit too confident in his edge guards. Took his own, took his own life. Damn. I mean, that was actually, I don't know, even without the SD, Kamehameha kind of had his number at the end there. He did, he did. A lot of pressure coming out from Kamehameha. What an adaptation from the first game. Almost got three stocked game one. Almost didn't really get to play the game like that much at all. And now he's just one game away from being in Grand Finals winner side. Yeah. For a second tournament in a row. Yeah, Kamehameha is such a strong player. Like, it amazes me that uh, last season he did not get, like, uh, top 10 or close to top 10. He's, like, one of the few people that's actually won an S tier in this game. Yeah. Something not one can simply do, especially with the dominance we've been seeing from MKLeo. Let's see what Glennie can do here. We already saw how strong he is at destroying Mega Man offstage. He, does, he just needs more of that, really. That was a great crash bomb, though. Damn, Gluttony was trying to go super aggressive with that up B to keep him off the stage. Oh, what the heck was that? There's so much percent. Oh, no, no, he's not dead, but he's, he's in a terrible spot. Back air, nice. 
He made the attempt, but unfortunately struck a little bit too early. This is Lenny's edge guard. Nice stall from Kamimi. Oh. Nice. Using the Z drop immediately to combo off the back there. Kamimi takes the first blood here in game four. Man, that was unfortunate for Glenny, too, because he got the ledge trump, but he didn't follow where Kamehameha Drift is, and he got yeah. caught for it. Okay, back off stage now. Glenny needs this edge guard. Oh, but Kamehameha is so smart at recovering, stalls out, saves that direction, air dodge up, but there's a down tilt. Down tilt dash attack. One of Wario's best hit confirms. That down tilt's so quick, so being able to confirm off of that is actually super valuable for Wario. But uh, here we go. See if Kamehameha can keep building on his lead here. Oh man, he's up there, so good versus Wario. Just keeping him right above Mega Man where he wants him. Nice. nice. Waiting up for spot dodge every time. <laughs> Trying to make a play for the call out of shield there. Back throw. I like the toss up oh. here. And he's able what to. The? Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh if, my if god. That, if that was not a setup, man, I do not know what it is. He, that was definitely intentional, 100, 110%. He's like, yeah, I use Wario too, man. I got these bike setups. That was sick from Kamehameha. It only took 20%. I feel, I, I feel like that's what Kamehameha has right here instead of playing the Ditto, right? You play the character that you're comfortable with, and then having main Joe, um, Wario yourself, you kind of know how to counter the character. Yeah. Or, or of course, Gladney does things like much different from Kamehameha, but... Fundamentally, he understands how the character works really well. But uh, let's see what Gl uh, Glennie can do here to bring this back. Nice back air. Okay. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, I get that back air he's looking for. He just wants, he just wants to keep him pressured off stage for as much as he can. Opportunity here. No, a little bit too late on the down air. Oh, he wanted the back air, but it's so close. Okay. That back throw sets up the the Metal Blade, and we all know how Metal Blade is able to combo. Oh, he got the bike just barely. The last second, too. Nice stuff from Gluttony. This is really good for him. He's not too far behind. He can definitely bring this back. It doesn't take much from Morio at all. Kamei also recognizing that, though. He's hanging back, not making it easy for Gluttony to approach, get these, like, Nair setups. Oh. But, oh, my God, that z drop Metal Blade. So threatening every single time. Okay. Staying alive here. Nice. Nice. Up tilt. Or he could be looking to read the roll or the neutral get up. Oh. I like it. Come in. He kind of gets away from that situation. Not looking how it might have played out. Oh. A lot of shield pressure here. And he uses the upper to kind of force Gluttony to actually go out, go for an out of shield option and then catch it with back air. Gluttony is definitely staying so hard and true to holding on to shield there. Yeah, Gluttony is really struggling to get in on Kamehameha right now. It's just Kamehameha recognizes the situation he's in. He knows the threat of Waft. He's not making it very difficult for him to get the combo into it. And now he's super close to getting this stock. Of course, back, back off again. No. What's he gonna do with the bike here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was very scary. <laughs> I, especially how strong Gluttony's been on stage for him to go that low. Really risky. Almost at 200% here. But Max Rage Wario, that wasp's gonna kill extra early. Oh, oh holds up. The back air. This, this is, where is it the starts. opportunity. It's how it gets started. No and he finishes it off way. with a surprise ending. And you can tell the oh Kamehameha. Oh my god. Even laughs about it, dude. What that, a reversal. That was not actually guaranteed at all. Glenny just went for it. Because Kamehameha saw that he was like, okay, he, he has this combo. I'm gonna get hit by this, but as long as I don't air dodge, he's not gonna just hit me. Yeah. But he just did it since he wasn't pressing any button. Damn, that was actually so clutch. He was almost at 200%. He would have died to so many things. <laughs> Even Kamehameha kind of, kind of gave it a little bit of laughing because he knew how much at stake that was for Gluttony, too. That was an insane comeback. This guy is so clutch, man. He's never truly out of it. Game so five. now, game five, um, uh, Kamehameha's counter pick of Kalos yet again. He won pretty solidly on the stage before. I'm kind of surprised Gluttony let him go back here, honestly. But. He's uh, the top player here. You must know something to let Kamehameha go back to the stage he won on. Let's see what he can do here. Nice, nice. up throw, up air. Oh, the platform helping him out so much there. Oh, uh, Kamehameha, I think he wanted the third hit of uh, Pellet there, just send him in tech chase. Hold on to the metal blade just a little bit here. Oh, how's he gonna land? 
Maybe he's not making him. Oh, oh man, the bike kind of saved him. Still at the ledge here. Where's he going to go? Oh, nice. My. He kind of forced that situation to play out, too, especially something on middle, so the middle bit that way. That was such a sick spike. Of course, Gluttony could have teched that, but I don't think he was expecting to get hit there. Yeah. And you usually want to tech towards the, the stage itself, so you get a wall tech, too, as well. Again, Kameme with the stock lead. He's been so strong in this position this whole set. Let's see what Kameme, let's see what Glennie can do to get this stock off before he's too far behind. And right now, though, Kameme just playing around all the approach options from Wario. Really, really uh, good matchup knowledge of this character. Yeah. But there's back the back air. there. Caught him jumping a little bit too much. Okay. Just chilling on the platform a little bit here, trying to stall up this stock. Really find his opening carefully. Oof. Not able to get a combo. He's too far at the ledge to get like a nair chain to up air. Here we go, though. Up throw. Nice. If you can't get the up, nice. the nair chain. Exactly what you want. Get him in the air and just put him right uh, in position for that up tilt. Okay. Fourth throw. We do see Kamimi using the bike a little bit against Wario, but Wario's not afraid to use the bike as well. Oh. Oh. So close. They're playing within inches of each other. Oh my god. Pistol and that shield. Just get me out of here. I don't want to deal with this shield rush from Wario, but there it is. The ah. up tilt landing trap into the walk. Glutting me. Swinging this game right back in his favor. Yeah, he knows the one thing he needed to against Kamimi. That one thing that turned the tide. Nope. No sweet spot up tilt. So he's still living here. And now Kamime forced to approach for the first time in a while. Okay. Nice. He could be looking for a Z drop or just to throw the metal blade into a combo. Nice. Jab to forward air. This is probably Kamime's finest hour. <laughs> I mean, especially with Glenn with two stocks, 148. Yeah. Oh, man. What an up smash. Like, he must have known that he would try to jump there. He just called him out for it. They only took like 9%. That's really good for Kamehameha. But here comes Glennie with the low percent combos again. Nice. Uh oh. And he's able to avoid the Metal Blade too. Here we go. Pressure so on the pressure. shield. Kamehameha's trying to fight back into this game. Try not to get overwhelmed by Glennie's pressure, but it might be a little too late. Glennie oh. looking, looking to call out the recovery and the landing. Oh, oh no. Where are you going to go? He's waiting for it. He might be looking for a back air or a cross up or maybe an empty hop here. Just to get a grab. Oh man, he's trying not to get put in Texas situation, but Glenny just inching closer and closer each time. Really bad here on the back here. He's so far off stage. Oh, the crash bounce saving his life, but he, where can he go here? Oh! oh. And he what gives him a taste setup, dude. of his own medicine, and you can even tell Kamami is kind of happy about it, man. Wow, the setup down tilt into the left, just closing it out. Glenny moving on. 